As the head of the Kamisato clan, Brother always has a full schedule of places he needs to be. I do try my best to share his load, but there is no changing the pressure he is subjected to all year round, and the toll it takes upon him. <sighs> if you see him, remind him to take care of himself for his sister's sake. Sometimes, when I'm taking a rest up in a tree, I overhear the Shrine Maidens talking about him. Sounds like he's pretty important and super busy most of the time. I don't get it, though. <sighs> it's only work, or whatever. So why doesn't he just... not do it? <laughs> I only wish I could have met Ayato sooner. He really taught me something. You can kindle the warrior spirit, even in the weakest of bugs. Yep, I really took that one to heart. Yeah, if it weren't for those words of wisdom, I'm pretty sure I would have given up beetle fighting after losing for the 780th time. <laughs> yeah, I guess sometimes it takes a warrior to understand a warrior. When we're playing trading card games or battling beetles, we're always totally on the same wavelength. Kamisato. One of the most distinguished clans in all of Inazuma. Despite Ayato's trickery in regard to the Tri-Commission's affairs, he is nevertheless a loyal subject. His past misdeeds shall be excused. The Yashiro rascal. He's always been an unpredictable one, even as a child. Don't be taken in by his warm smile. There's no knowing what devious scheme might be brewing inside his head. It's really quite maddening. What do you mean, sly as a fox? Hm, if you're trying to insinuate that he and I are anything alike, you are sorely mistaken. As the head of the Kamisato clan, he's in a tough position. With all the political upheaval, he has to contend with public disquiet on one hand, and a bunch of self-serving degenerate public officials on the other. It's best not to dwell on it. All I can do is make sure to look out for him when he's at home.